So, welcome everybody to the Target of Proteomics course. Uh, I'm just going to say a few housekeeping things for about 10 minutes and then we'll sort of kick off with the, with the main program. Um, so the background, in case you're interested, this is uh, now the fourth time we've run this uh, Target of Proteomics course in Zurich. The first one was an SRM course in July 2013. This is, this is the group and the idea was to acquaint participants with theoretical and practical considerations needed to conduct an SRM experiment. And since then, it's been, uh, it's been run several times. And now it's expanded a bit the scope to include also some discussions about PRM and also DIA and SWATH. And it's also expanded uh, a lot outside of Zurich. So there's many similarly uh, structured courses happening worldwide. I guess, I don't know how many, there's probably at least five or six or more of these courses going on per year. Uh, in various different places, and so it's it seems like there's a, there's still a need for this uh, for for people to be acquainted with this material. So I guess we'll we'll continue with this for a while. Um, who are we? So this is we have the Zurich side, and I guess what I would call the guest instructors, not guests in terms of guests of the course, but rather they've traveled a long way. Uh, so the locals are uh, Rudy Ebersold, who's uh, the head of the of the group that we most of us are in here. Ben Collins is me. Betty Friedrich is not here yet. No, is she? No, Yan Sheng is in the back. Wave Yan Sheng. Uh, Isabel also is here in the back. Ariel, is he here? No, Ariel is also, he gets a little star because he was one of the original course organizers, the sort of founding members, and Ludovic Chile. Uh, our guest instructors are Tina Ludwig. She also gets a little star because she was an original member of the team, but she's now moved on to, uh, to Munich. Uh, Brendan McLean is a key person. Uh, he's the principal developer of Skyline, the software that we're using. And I think actually he's probably the only person who goes to every single one of those courses. Is that true? <laughs> is she? Okay, so Olga Vitek is the next person. She's looking after the statistical parts. She'll be here later in the week. Jake Jaffe from the Broad Institute will be talking about PRM mainly, and Lucas Reiter from a company uh, in Zurich called Biognosis. Um, so housekeeping, this is F32, that's where we are now. This is where most of the lectures will take place. Also the tutorials and sky jams, I'll say what this means in a minute. There's also a room downstairs, E51. It's the room that directly in front of you when you walk in the front door, it's a larger lecture theater. And we'll have some lectures there where we invite in some of the locals, uh, sort of a public audience for some of the interesting talks and so that some of the local people will be interested in. That's also where we'll have the coffee breaks and the apero, et cetera, will be downstairs. And this is indicated on the schedule with this red HIT E51. So you'll see it at our first coffee break uh, after the first talk. Um, we can sort of breeze quickly through the schedule. I, I think you should have a copy of this so we don't need to spend a lot of details. So uh, normally Rudy would give the, the first talk, which is kind of a opening keynote talk, which sort of frames the course, but unfortunately he couldn't make it for, to the first talk, so he's gonna speak second. First, we're gonna dive straight into uh, SRM with Tina. Uh, then, then there'll be lunch, and Brandon will, after this, Brandon will give an introduction to, to Skyline. And then we'll have the first tutorial sessions after lunch. So uh, this essentially means uh, you working on your own laptop, analyzing data in Skyline, and following a, a procedure, some demonstration data that, that's on this USB stick. Um, then Ariel will talk more about setting up experiments in SRM. We'll have another tutorial. And then at the end of the day, we're going to have our, from around seven onwards, we'll have an apero downstairs. So there'll be some drinks and some kind of stand up food and what we call science slam. So this is a short opportunity for you to make a little improvised poster and tell us something about uh, what your research project is or what you're interested in in, in 60 seconds. Um, so Tuesday. Tina will talk about uh, quantitative aspects. Jake will give an introduction to PRM. We'll move on with some more tutorials. Uh, Ludovic will talk about automated peak picking and FDR, and then will be the first sky jam. So sky jam means that Brandon is going to sit up at the front of the room, and he will, in real time, go through an analysis in Skyline, and you can kind of follow him, and it's a really nice session for sort of tips and tricks and so on, how, how things work in Skyline. Um, so I don't think we need to say too much uh, more there will be so Jake will speak again the keynote lecture then we'll start the statistical aspects of the course with Olga Vitek then we'll start getting into SWATH and DIA more statistics and all the time with more tutorials and more sky jam um, 
Thursday, we'll talk about assay libraries. We'll talk about the MS stats implementation in Skyline, uh, targeted data analysis of Swath and DIA with Yancheng, then something about phosphorylation and PTMs from Ariel. And on Thursday, we're going to have uh, a dinner in the restaurant Linda Oberstas, and we'll leave directly from here. So I'll mention something else about that in a minute. Then Rudy, Friday is more like applications day. Rudy will talk about uh, applications of targeted proteomics. Uh, we also have Lucas Ryder from, um, from Biognosis, and if people who are interested in DIA but more on Orbitrap type instrumentation, he'll talk a bit about this. Yan Cheng will talk a bit about uh, biomarker applications. Uh, and then we'll have a little bit of fun with kind of a game. Um, and then the feedback, this is very important, so we would ask you to take a little bit of time to give us some feedback about the course, and uh, we have a little form set up for you to do that, so we'd appreciate that. And then we'll have kind of a summary wrap-up session where we kind of a discussional Q&A session to um, see how we did. So the tutorial parts uh, are structured in, in uh, this kind of a way. Uh, so we'll it really this the idea is here we'll, we'll, we'll work through a bunch of problems in Skyline, starting with setting up documents and getting the assays and scheduling and IRTs. And then we have some data for you, so you don't have to do any measurements. But we have data on these USB sticks that you'll be able to analyze manually. And then also statistics. We'll also do some swath analysis uh, in Skyline. So this you also should have a copy of this in your folder just for reference to know what the the workflow looks like. Uh, the data you'll be analyzing is from um, mycobacterium tuberculosis. Um, so this is some from some data from uh, Olga Schubert, who used to be in our lab. And this is SRM data, where the bacteria were subjected to a hypoxic stress. And we're going to quantify some proteins that are associated with the stress re response. It doesn't really matter what the data is. Uh, but and there's also some synthetic peptides, but so just so you have an idea of what's going on. The swath data will also be in uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis, except it's not this hypoxic stress. It's a wild type, uh, it's a mutant wild type comparison, but it's, it's more or less the same idea. Uh, okay, so here's a map of the campus. We're here in the HIT building. You arrived on the bus here with this little yellow bus. Uh, the uh, there so in terms of food and so on, so you're responsible for your own lunches, etc. There's a, a small supermarket here called Cope. Uh, the main um, cafeterias are also pretty close to here in this large chemistry building, and in this HPH building. Uh, if you need an ATM, it's also directly in this building in front of the in front of the post office, and the bus stops to go back downtown are all in this area as well. If there's an emergency, the uh, emergency internal phone number is 888, or from external, 342-1188. Uh, maybe some of you already know about this e-link bus. I mentioned it in the email. Um, so to get downtown, a very convenient way, there's a free bus which runs from um, basically here. There's a bus stop. Uh, and this will run to the, the bus stop Haldeneg. And this should be pretty close. This is actually right outside the Hotel Leonek and not too far from the Hotel Marta House. So I would suggest using this if uh, it's free for guests of ETH. This, by the way, is the restaurant uh, where we'll have dinner. But you shouldn't need to worry too much about that unless you are going there not with us. So we should go all together on Thursday uh, directly after the class. Um, we have Wi-Fi. Uh, if you have this EduRoam network at your institution, you should be able to log directly into this network. If you don't have this, we also have this public Wi-Fi, and this is the login and password. I think it's also written on some signs on the wall there, so you don't need to scribble it down right now. Uh, videos, as you may have noticed, there's some video people in the back of the room. I also mentioned this in the email, I think, and. Uh, last year, we started videotaping all the lectures and posting these, these videos on YouTube, and um, people seem to like it. I think there's 10,000 clicks or something on all the videos from last year, so, and it's also a resource for you, right, if you want to review the material. So just to be aware that the video guys are here, and they have a lot of expensive equipment, so please be careful. There's a lot of cables everywhere. Uh, and also downstairs, when we go to the um, coffee break, they also have equipment in the in the downstairs lecture room. So please kind of stay out of the way of the of the video equipment. Um, because we're videoing, we we need to use microphones to capture the the questions and the discussion. So if you have a question 
or or you want to want to make a comment please just raise your hand and let me know and we'll we'll send this microphone around otherwise we won't capture it on the video so a couple of things before we start maybe a little poll who's can we have a, a show of hands for who's got experience in shotgun proteomics Mo almost everybody that's good what about hands on experience in SRM or PRM? Not so many, or swath? <laughs> Jake is very experienced. Um, who's got hands on experience with Skyline? Maybe one third to a half. Who considers themselves sort of a beginner in targeted proteomics? Most people, that makes sense. Okay. Has everybody got a laptop that they can use? Has any, does anybody not have a laptop? Okay, excellent. Did anybody not manage to install Skyline? Version 3.5 something, 64-bit, one person. Okay. <laughs> okay. Great, so the first tutorial is after lunch, so there's still a little bit of time. That's why we're reminding everybody. Uh, we also asked you to install MS Stats as an external tool in Skyline. Did anybody have a problem with this? Anybody not manage this? Amazing, fantastic. Uh, so we, we handed you out a USB. Um, there's a lot of data on here, like 15 gigabytes or so, so please start copying it you can start copying it like when the next speaker is setting up or sometime basically uh, or at the coffee break or whenever, but it's going to take some time to copy and we should, you should have this, uh, this USB data somewhere on your laptop by the time the first tutorial starts after lunch. And it's a lot of data, so please, please do that sometime soon. Otherwise, that's it. So thanks a lot for coming. Uh, of course, we want to thank our, our invited lecturers for coming, ETH, who, who are providing the infrastructure, and of course, uh, SystemsX, uh, who are providing some additional funding for the course.